Hello Tinga Monsters, how are you? Today we are going to have a, another Hebrew lesson. This time we are going to talk about onomatopoeia words in Hebrew. For those who don't know what is onomatopoeia, onomatopoeia is a word that imitates, resembles or suggests the source of the sound that it describes. For example, boom is a word that describes the sound of a big explosion. Therefore, when you see the explosion, you're not gonna say, what an explosion, you're gonna say, that was a boom, a big boom. In Hebrew, onomatopoeia called Mitzlol. Guess what? Mitzlol is an onomatopoeia word itself. Now, Tzlil in Hebrew is sound. Mitzlol is onomatopoeia. The word describes or imitates or suggests the source of the sound that it describes. The first onomatopoeia word in Hebrew is Bakbuk. Bakbuk. Bakbuk is a bottle. The bottle is called that way in Hebrew, Bakbuk, because of the sounds that the water makes when you pour them from the bottle. Bakbuk. Bakbuk is a bottle. The second onomatopoeia word in Hebrew is Gilgu. Gilgu is basically a gargle. It even sounds almost the same in English. Gilgu, gargle. Gilgu, gargle. So I guess it's also an onomatopoeia word in English too. If there is any need to explain the meaning of gargle, gargle the water and spit it out. The third onomatopoeia word is tiftuf. The meaning of tiftuf in English is drizzle. The sound that drops make when they are falling sounds like tif taf, tif taf, tif taf. Therefore, a light rain called tiftuf. Tif taf. Tiftuf, drizzle. The fourth word is tirtu, when someone annoys you, or chug you, or rattle, or shoving around. I know that most of the words I said sound just the same, tiftuf, girgu, tirtu, but it's only one structure of the word. I can also say that he is metarter, she is metarteret. Okay, I'm gonna stick into one structure of the word and this is tirtu. So, what's the source of the word tirtu? Heavy machine produce and therefore tirtu is the word that comes from the sound tr. And a heavy machine can be very annoying, just like human beings. The next word is tiktuk. I can also say letaktek. Guess what? It's also an onomatopoeia word in English. Letaktek is to tick, to type, to tick, or to do something very quickly and efficiently. Letaktek, tiktek. He tic tac in the past. She tic tac in the past. I am metactacket right now. But I'm not gonna let tac this video. I'm gonna take the time. So what's the source of the sound? Like the sound that the watch produces. Tick tock. Tick tock. Metactac. The watch is metactac. The next word is hidhood. Hidhood. Hidhood is 
Oh my god, the crazy kid next door. She is a star in my videos, isn't she? His hood is Echo. This is sound like tier 2, not like an echo. Like when a voice echoes in the hall. Hello, Hello to the monsters. 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 Next word is diff-doof. Diff-doof is turning pages or flipping pages. Now, page in Hebrew is daf. Daf. Diff-doof. Daf, dif do. Now I'm not sure if this is the sound that Daf makes, but I can try. Daf, Daf. I don't know. Not that much, but let's pretend it is. Next word is him home. Him home. Him home is. Very much like English. Humming. What's humming? When someone makes undefined mouth sound, especially when hesitation or indecision happens. Hmm. 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 The next few words comes from animal sounds. Sound that animals produce. Tziuts. Tziuts is the sound that the bird makes. Tzvit, tzvit, tzvit. Tzvit, tzvit, tzvit. I know that every language gives a different sound to the animals. Like in English it's probably twit, twit, twit. But in Hebrew it's tzvit, tzvit, tzvit. Now, I will try to look for the link and I will post it in my description. There's a very funny video that describes how animal sounds in every language. So it's very interesting to watch the onomatopoeia comes differently. So, tziut is tzvit tzvit tzvit. Tziutzu. In Hebrew, tzatza is cricket. Because the sound the cricket produces is it's very difficult to make that sound. Kirku. Kirku comes from kukuiku. Kukuiku. Like the sound the chicken makes. The chicken is mekake. Kirku is the sound the chicken makes. The last one is gagua. Gagua is the sound that duck makes. Ga 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 ga. Now gagua in Hebrew is also when you miss someone. That was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the second lesson in Hebrew. If you didn't watch the first one, please check out my description for the Hebrew slang word lesson I gave before. If you like to see more of these videos, please let me know. I hope you're relaxed and you can sleep well tonight. Good night for my crazy kid neighbor and for all of my viewers. Hungry little tingle monsters. Bye bye. No. The next word is Bakhtana. 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 Neshama shili. It's basically just like saying my darling, my love, my dear, okay? Like in the street, like everyday Hebrew speaking contains a lot of neshama. There are four meanings to the yellow word. When you want to rush someone, you say yalla. When you want to approve an action, then you say yalla. Someone offers you something and you agreed, you go, yeah.